RoboCop, a movie which defined the late 1980s and to this day still has a massive influence on pop culture. So much so that they're actually intending to install an 11 foot bronze RoboCop in Detroit. We're not here to talk about him. We're here to answer a question that I get relatively regularly. Was there ever a full-size ED-209? Some of you may be wondering, though, what's ED-209? Well, not to put too fine a point on it, but this is ED-209. Long story short, ED-209 is a fully armed, uh, completely AI killing machine that is developed by the corporation OCP for the purposes of urban pacification or military use within the storyline. So the design for ED-209 actually comes from Tippett Studios, led by the legendary Phil Tippett and Craig Hayes, with most of the scenes involving ED-209 animated by Phil Tippett and his team, and utilizing several different scale of puppets. But to answer the question, yes, there were several full-size ED-209s built for the film. Largely made out of fiberglass, most of them didn't actually move a whole lot. It's rather an impractical robot. But practicality is meaningless in Hollywood because the rule of cool is all that matters. Now I do know that there is a full-size ED-209 at Tippett Studios. Whether it's one of the original screen used ones, I do not know. But I would totally go to Tippett Studios to find out if Tippett Studios would uh, let me in the door. <coughs> Excuse me. Technically, yes, ED-209 was real. Sort of. Cops history.